Hey everybody, Khan Nala here, and we're going to be doing a walkthrough with answers for the Secret Order of Keys of June for 2017 called Alter Ego. Now, we, whenever we do one of these, we get an extra loot in our next month's box. Looks kind of like this. This is the Primal one. This one was for March. And what happened with the Primal is they had such a huge response that they did not... They didn't have enough of these. <laughs> and so they sent out an email saying, you know, we're sorry we weren't expecting this many people, but we'll be sending it in the May. You know, you get it as an extra thing in the mail that you'll get it in May. And we got another email in May saying that they had a problem with manufacturing uh, and they had to do it later. So we got it in June. I actually got mine right before I filmed my unboxing for June. And I've been doing these every month since February. So back here, I have the Founders Pen. That's the one I got for the build one. That was the first one in February. This one was supposed to be March, but I just got it. And then Investigate is April's. I have that one up there at the top, you can see. I need to find a thing that I can put all of these on so I have them in one spot, but I haven't thought of that yet. And then uh, we were supposed to get this month Guardians for May that we did, but Guardians wasn't in the box. So I got March's Primal, but I did not get May's Guardians. <laughs> so I sent him an email. Hopefully I will get that by next um, unboxing next month and when we do this. But basically I, you know, when I first started, when I did the February one, I noticed that all of the YouTube videos just had the answers and nobody was doing walkthroughs. Now, if I'm doing puzzles like this, because I love puzzles, I want to be able to maybe get a little help, but not get the answer. I still want to figure it out on my own, but there's this one thing that I'm stuck on. And so I decided to make a video of a walkthrough and I really enjoyed doing it. So I do it every month. Um, Whenever I solve all the puzzles, I do a uh, walkthrough. So there will be a time code at the bottom when I start a puzzle so you can skip to the next puzzle if you don't need any information on that one or you're not interested in seeing it. And then when I get to the solution, I will give you a spoiler warning and you have a time code to jump to the next puzzle so you don't have to hear the solution if you don't want it. But again, it is there if you still want to see it. So let's jump into it. So our first puzzle is going to be Volatile Solution. We're going to be using our little puzzle book that came in the box. I'm not going to show the inside because I wrote down all the answers in there. But basically we're using this page along with our printout, which uh, again has my answers on it. So we have the printout, our pen of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and our little key there. So you can see the line that's going through our uh, colored circles. That's supposed to give you the uh, order that you're going to be doing it. So we'll go from purple to purple and then uh, come back around and do green. It's basically left to right. We're gonna be using our pen, our Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We've got purple is the middle, which is that vial. Uh, the right is our green for Mr. Hyde, and Dr. Jekyll is our peach color, which is showing our three colors, and they're basically giving you which direction you're going to look at. So if you look at our key here, you're going down each row of three letters. You're basically placing him in the middle. So purple is the middle letter, green is the uh, right letter, and Peach is the left color letter. So you're basically just assigning the letter to that color. So the first one is purple. And what I did is, uh, I'm gonna show you the blue lines. These are the numbers. I basically numbered them so I kept them in order for myself. So from left to right on each line. And then numbered them going down just so that if I got lost, I didn't have to go start over from the beginning again. It helped me organize it in my head. But for the first line, because it's purple, you choose that middle letter. 
and then you go down and write all the letters down. So this is where I'm going to get into spoilers. If you don't want to know the answer, skip ahead to the next puzzle. But here we go. Inner demons. So you can see I and N, N, E. You're basically just picking those letters all the way down. And then when we put inner demons in, yay, we solved the puzzle, woo! This puzzle was pretty straightforward. Uh, it took me a second to realize how the letters were going to be organized, but uh, not too hard, not too hard. Pretty straightforward, simple puzzle. I enjoyed it a lot. Our second puzzle is going to be prime time. Basically, we're using the uh, Optimus Primes that are on our shirt. They have them printed out with a number value. And we are going to be using the key that's inside here. And what I did at the top, because it's associating a, if we read the instructions, that it's associating the number to a letter in the alphabet. So it's a straightforward key of 1 through 26. And that's what you see in the top right there is I basically just wrote out the alphabet and put numbers on it just so I didn't have to like count through the alphabet for every number. Just a simple key for me to use. And then what you're doing is you're associating the number to the picture. So you can see that first one is 5 and I just wrote the number above each one and then it's you're doing addition multiplication division and subtraction to get your answers uh, most of these are pretty straightforward I think there were one or two that you needed to know the order of operations to get the right number um, I think even if you didn't you would probably still get the right number multiplication and division are held as the same importance but you go from left to right and then for multiple or addition and subtraction are also held as the same importance but from left to right so you're always going from left to right and when you have things that are addition or subtraction they come after multiplication or division so when you're going from the left to the right if you have multiplication in the problem but there's an addition or a subtraction problem before that in the left you do the multiplication first and then you go back from left to right and do the, your uh, addition or subtraction. So if you have any questions on the order of operations, you may want to Google that just to get more information on it. I don't want to end up doing an entire math, uh, math lesson on how to use the order of operations, but it's basically just what order you do math. So you would want to remember that when doing these because you might have a problem with one or two of them I think they have in a an addition before a multiplication problem and then you come up with your number values so you have your number values there and then you take those numbers and you associate them to a letter this is where I will get into spoilers and show the answer so if you do not want to know the answer please skip forward to the next puzzle you have been warned. 18 Wheel Warrior. Makes sense. It's Optimus Prime. <laughs> he's an 18 wheeler and he's a warrior. We put those in and woohoo! We just won. So I really liked this puzzle. Um, what I liked about it is that you had to use the order of operations. I always liked math problems. I enjoy those things. I, I've seen a lot of math problems that confuse people like on Facebook and stuff where they're like can you solve this problem and really all it is is a simple math problem that uses order of operations and if you understand order of operations you're gonna get the right answer but sometimes they put them in a weird order that people end up adding numbers before they multiply them and the number comes out wrong so just make sure you understand your order of operations and math will be easy puzzle number three is heroes code I really liked this one because I really enjoyed the artwork. So basically what we're doing is we're going to be taking our book, which has all the awesome cover art, and then our little printout where you can see the boxes that are uh, blacked out and removed. 
and we look at that box and we see where it associates on our picture. So like this one takes place up here, which that's an awesome picture of uh, Cyborg. I wonder if he'll look that cool in the movie. <laughs> but anyway, I at first I made this a lot more complicated than it needed to be. Like I looked at that section and I'm like, okay, this could be a V. You know, if you hold it this way, it could be a V. This way it could kind of be an A. Uh, if you hold it like this, it might be an L. And like I, I was writing down every possible letter that it could be. And really, they it's a very straightforward. Just take it that clip exactly in the position that it's in and it will show the letter of which it, what it is. You're basically just looking at the photos. So pretty straightforward. Um, it is easier if you cut them out of the pictures and I'm going to show you that now. So if you, spoiler warning, if you don't want to know the answer, you know, go through and don't need to move them around. Just look at the letter as it appears on the photo pretty straightforward and then uh, you'll find your answer so spoilers here is our answer JLA United so you can see for cyborg that's a J Wonder Woman is an L Joker is an A Supergirl is a U on her cape the flash was an N Batman Superman that was an I that one looked a little weird to me it could have been a J uh, but once you put it with the rest of the letters, it makes sense. And Wonder Woman T, that was the first one that really made me think, okay, these letters are not in a weird position that it could be they're exactly the way that they're posed. Uh, and that's a great picture of Wonder Woman. I like that one. And the trident E, which could have been a W or an M. But if you just keep it in the position, it looks like an E. And same with uh, Bat was it Batman I think it was with a, a D which could have been an A if you look at it from the side <laughs> so JLA United you put that in we get our answer yay so I liked this one I mean I got hung up a little at first because I I thought too much way too much into it it was simpler than I was trying to make it <laughs> so I made it difficult on myself but I enjoyed the artwork. I mean, the artwork for these cover arts is awesome. You know, and I especially like, uh, I like this Wonder Woman back here. That throwback. I love the throwback Wonder Womans. You know, from the 1940s. They look great. Looks like the pinup girl, you know, that they had on the side of the planes in World War II. I really enjoyed those. But all the artwork in there is great. And I... I'm hesitant of whether or not I want to take it out of the book and put it on the wall or just keep them in the book because it's a nice book. It's a really nice. But I think flipping through it as much as I am, they'll end up just falling out on their own because the perforations. But there we go. Puzzle number four, Cyber Cipher. And this is going to use our box. So we'll need our pamphlet and we're going to be using this like makeshift Morse code. But it said that uh, we would be using the box. And I thought they were referencing our little Optimus Prime. With the wobbly head. But no. So I kept looking at the side of the box and trying to see if the dots and stuff were going to uh, gonna be used for this. And I couldn't find any patterns on the, on the truck. I spent way too much time looking for patterns on that. When actual, it was on the rest of the box that I almost threw away, which I didn't. Because with any of these puzzles, any secret order of keys, remember, don't throw anything away until you solve the puzzles. Because they can always have something that you didn't really even think about was there, and it's there. So if you look at the box, right above the orange part is a, is a string of uh, dots and lines. You don't really think about it. It looks kind of like part of the perforation. You're spending all your time trying to cut the pieces out because you can't pop them out with your fingers. 
and uh, you totally miss it. And then when you're excited enough to finally have this thing done, you throw the rest of the box away. <laughs> but there it is, and so you had to not throw that away. You're using that along with your key to figure out what your letters are. And the, the thing that you have to remember is you're only looking at the parts of the key that have solid black lines. So if you're looking at your key or circles, they're all solid black either lines or solid black circles. So we're skipping anything that looks hollow. So you have hollow circles and hollow lines. You don't use those. So on that first one, you can see here, it's got two circles that are hollow and then two black lines. So we're going to ignore the two hollow circles and just look at the two black lines, which is an M. And then we put it down and you'll notice some of these like here is uh, four hollow circles. That's just a blank. That's a space. So we're going to skip that. And this is where I will get into the spoilers. So if you do not want to know the answer, uh, skip forward. But here we go. Matrix of Leadership, which again makes sense. That's very, uh, you know, that's very Transformers of them. And we put that in, and woohoo! Matrix of Leadership, and we win! I really like this puzzle. Uh, I like the fact that they used a kind of Morse code and that you had to use your, your little box, almost a throwaway piece of the box. It was very hidden of them. I kudos I like that even though this thing took way too long to put together uh, <laughs> just cutting it out like took me forever but anyway it was a good puzzle I enjoyed the whole Morse code aspect puzzle number five molecular smash this is using our Hulk incredible Hulk bowl and the PDF printout and one of the things about this one is you, you have your thumb and index finger and all of that. You're lining them up with the letters, with the dot being the thumb. But you don't want to line it up this way. You want to line it up this way. And that hung me up for a little bit at first. But when you do that, you can pretty much just do it once and know where the numbers are associated. So the dot is going to be the thumb, which means the one directly to the right of it is going to be the index finger. And you're basically picking which line is going to be your finger. And then they have the list of the fingers, uh, pinky, ring, middle, index, and thumb. And that's the order that you're going to be put the, putting them in so that you can get your answer. Um, the trick is you're, you're trying to eliminate letters that have an alter ego, which is, of course, what our month is called. And what they mean by that is if in the same string, if you have an uppercase and a lowercase of the same number letter, then they eliminate each other. So I would circle it and then I cross out any of the letters that had uh, an uppercase and a lowercase. And then I just wrote down the rest of the letters that existed. So I'll show you the letters. Uh, we'll get into spoilers now because we'll talk about the answer. So if you don't want to know any spoilers, skip ahead to the next puzzle. But you've been warned. So once I figured out what the letters were, I wrote them down under each one. And then I just put them in order of how they asked them. And you put them together and just figure out what it says and it spells belted by gamma rays which makes sense as Bruce Banner it's how he became Hulk is he got belted by gamma rays put that in our solution and there we go we won Woohoo! I liked this one it took me a good minute to realize that I didn't want to look at the fingers associated this way that I wanted to look at them associated this way. For some reason, when I was looking at the printout, I kept thinking of, what if you cut this out and put it in the bowl? And that's why I was looking at it from this point of view. And it took me a good, you know, 
10, 15 minutes to realize, no, you turn the bowl upside down. I just kept trying to find patterns in things. There were no patterns. Uh, and then once I get stuck on something like that, it's hard for me to wrap my head around. No, let's go back, start over. We need to look at it from a different perspective. Puzzle number six. I think this was the one that gave me the most trouble. Uh, we're going to be using our little dangly Spider-Man. Dingle, 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 dingle. With the web shooter. I like him. And our middle part of our little booklet. And the PDF printout, which I won't show you here because it's got the answer on it. But we're going to be as associating and then moving by the directions that it tells us of north, south, east, and west. So we're... We have four. We've got the circle with a circle inside, a empty circle, a half moon, and just a line. So we're going to put the web slinger point towards it, and then starting from the star at that area. So basically, you don't need Spider-Man. You just look at the circle and pick the star that's in front, and that's your starting point. The thing is, I kept the page still, and I kept trying to move north, south, east, and west, but really you need to go north, south, east, and west from the point of view of, the, of whatever it is that you land on. So if you start from the star and you go to the letter above it, if you're going north, then your north, south, east, and west changes based on that next step, and then you go north, south, east, or west for that one, and then you have to turn it and so on. So it looks kind of like this. So you can see for our first one, which was our circle with the dot in the middle, it said go north, which would be the I, and then go east, which is S, and then go south. So if you're keeping the page still, that's not south, that's kind of west. So you have to reassociate your page based on whatever letter you're looking at at that moment and then do your direction. And then you go east again, which would be E and so forth. So once you have all of those letters together, and uh, this is where I'll start to get into spoilers. I'm not giving the answer out yet, but we uh, put those letters in there and it spells something out. Now, what it's spelling is not the answer. This is not the answer. So it's spelling out, he is strong, listen, bud, he's got. And what that is, is it's part of the uh, Spider-Man song. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It's that song. And if you read from here, it says uh, to follow the instructions and then type in that phrase. So when you type in in Google, is he strong, listen bud, he's got, Google will finish the sentence for you because it's the lyrics from that song. And this is where we will get into spoilers. So if you do not want to know the answer, skip ahead to that point. But our answer is the rest of the song, radioactive blood. So you put radioactive blood into our answer and da -da, we solved all six Yay! yeah this one this one took me a while to figure out I mean I was I wasn't getting pissed but I, <laughs> I was getting kind of frustrated because I kept taking it too literal like I would look at a letter and keep the I would keep it straight, and then I would like try and move Spider-Man forward or something. I thought he had something to do with it, and because it said the word step, so I thought they meant stepping him forward. I took that too literally, but really they just wanted you to start at the star. And once I figured it out, it was it, it was like duh. I don't know why I didn't know that before, but to get to that moment where the light bulb went off was uh, difficult. Uh, I was taking it way too literal, and you have to reassociate your direction. Every time you pick a letter, you got to reassociate your direction and take north, south, east, and west from there instead of just, yeah. Anyway, it was a good one. I enjoyed it. So that's how we solved the secret order of keys for June 2017 called Alter Ego, and we'll get our keys. So hopefully we'll get uh, 
our little extra loot on the next month and hopefully I'll get guardians that I was supposed to get this month as well so stay tuned next month we'll do a walkthrough for all of those puzzles as well I have a lot of fun doing these every month I've been doing them since they started and uh, look for it again next month if you get hung up on something I will definitely have a video for it but thank you guys for watching if you're on vidme upvote this give me a follow and share around if you're on YouTube like share subscribe tell your friends and I will see you on the next video.